Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass., North End Mazda Subaru, and Rebel Smoke. I'm Dave Madala. Last week in an epic battle, Sean Parker defeated reigning King of the Palace champion, Kevin Paddington. Now, Sean Parker faces the number four seed, and Louis Maha should be another great battle with two great Caleb and bowlers. So I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's two bowlers. To my right, Sean Parker, who last week defeated the reigning king, Kevin Paddington. Welcome back, Sean. Thank you. And to my left, the number three seed with a 4-11 roll-off score, it's Louis Maha. Welcome, Louis. Thank you. What are your thoughts going into this match against Sean? I don't know, I'm gonna have to bowl good. He bowled uh, two good games the last time out, so. Great, and uh, Sean, your thoughts about bowling against Louis? Uh, it was a pleasure, and I hope everything works out for both of us. All right, well, good luck to you both, and I'll see one of you at the 11th box. King of the Palace is brought to you by North End Mazda Subaru in Ludenburg, Massachusetts, and Rebel Spoke in Fitchburg and in Lemster, Mass. Up on Alley 3, the number 3 seed, Louis Maha. Oh, found the head pin, first ball delivery, nice ball. Louis no stranger to the King of the yeah. Palace. He's uh, made the show before. Throws a rocket ball. Back in November 2013, which would have been... Oh, nice, nice shot, pickup. Nice shot. Would Opens have been season, spare. season two. He qualified as the number one seed, and he actually lost to Dan Gauthier. The shoe. No, it's shoe. Shoe. Gotta correct yourself. Shoe. Oh, that's right. Not the shoe. The shoe. That's like oh. saying the Batman. Wants to fill the spare. Found the head pin. Drops nine. Maybe. Come on. One more. Oh, he's left the fourth pin for the spear. Boy, he'd like to open up with a double mark. Louis bowls out of uh, Bayberry Bowling Center. And um, he's been bowling for 17 years. His high single is a 173. His high triple is a 411. Just going to be a barrier? Oh, oh no, he went to the other not side. The, not the most conventional way, but opens up back-to-back -back spares. Up now. The number four seed, Sean Parker, who last week defeated uh, reigning King of the Palace champion, Kevin Padgington. Yeah, came down to the final two boxes. Then Sean Parker became the advancer in that particular roll-off. Let's see what happens. It's kind of funny when you're, when you're talking, Stephen, you, 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 you run out of words and you just kind of like start <laughs> rambling. <laughs> And well, Sean has a nine pin drop, drop, leaving the 10 pin with a whole bunch of junk on the deck, but two big pieces of roll blocks. Not, ra not, ram <laughs> not rambling, David, thinking of what to say. That's okay. rambling. He's left the 10 pin for a spare here. No, this would maybe. He might be able to get around it. No, no he's he, going for it. No, no, it was. But roll blocking. happens in Dennis has said it a number of times double wood you just don't know want to thank everybody that came out this past month for the oh, king phenomenal. of the palace absolutely phenomenal best huge we've ever turnout. had huge best huge we've turnout ever Sean on Alley 4. Oh, and he blows them all wow. out. Wow. Wrecked the rack that time. Yep, that was a beautiful pitch. Nice crash on Alley 4. Well, they don't want to get too far behind there. A little oh, disappointed. We may have, we may have another match on our hands. You know, it's funny. Louis, Louis, I almost called him Louis Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Louis is the number three seed with a qualifying score of a 411, Sean being the number four seed with a 410. Dropped four in the spear there, uh, and this, and this, this is a cluster bunch. Yeah, this is a difficult spear. Got to hit, just going to attack the head pin, see what happens, no. Nope. Wide left. Just off. Louis on his, in his spare time is, um, he, he's a race car driver. Nice. No. He's going to draw in a rush. Yeah, he, uh, Oh, slid by. I've seen thing. quite a few pictures of him uh, racing, so. Okay, he's going over to lane number four. So Box number four, string number one. Oh, go ahead, David. So, Louis, no stranger to pressure, especially uh, dipping around the track at probably oh, yeah, like over 100 miles an hour. That's true pressure. 
He's loved the three, the six, the ten. He's got some wood out in the front. I I don't like this. I try to go around it if yeah, you could. Yeah, I don't like it. <clears throat> yeah, he's got to go around it, and he did. So just not enough. Short pinned it. Yeah. He had to make contact with that three. You would have had to have been dead eyed uh, to yeah. sweep by that yeah. one piece of dead wood to hit well, that. It's very difficult. People bowling land out there viewing us. Grabs a 10 box. Okay, Sean Parker up on a strike. Sean Parker bowling out of Mason's Bowling Alley and Bogey and the Palace. Been bowling for 40 plus years. He's also um, is the president of the Mayhem League that bowls on Monday nights out of Mason's. And he's on the strike. And he's a good friend of mine. Great guy too. Great yeah. guy to talk oh, to. Yeah. Box number three, lane number three, Student string number game. one. Throws. Leaving wow. a solid eight. How, how did that pin stay up, people? That was a beautiful Dennis shot. Nothing touched it. <laughs> <laughs> but why didn't it, it, anything it, it, touch it? Because all the dead were just kind of... You know, wrapped around it. Yep. What do you think Stop about it. this wood? Too far out? Nope. No, I think no, it should be all right. Yeah, yeah. Just glance at it. I try right. not to it. cap it, though, because yeah. you almost got to hit the middle of the red stripe yeah. to try to push it back. Well, that comes up. It is. Just like go. that. Nice pickup. Why is there a red stripe around halfway up the pin? So you can tell one half from the other. Well, I suppose. I tip it upside down, and either way, I guess. I don't know. I might no. <laughs> You know, I, think, I think it's just to break the monotony up of the all-white pin. Yeah. yeah, could be. Yeah. Want to thank our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru. Go visit our friends up there in Lunenburg and visit see Marty Babineau and his awesome sales staff. And also Rebel Smoke in Fitchburg and in Lemonster. Drops eight. Eight on the spare, leaving the three and the two. No, 3-4. Three, 3-4, four. Three, three, four. Four, very difficult spare leave. Oh, this is tough. Where are you going, Dennis? Uh, right side of the th uh, three pin. Yep. No, uh, I might go left uh, side Yeah, I'm going to go pin. left, right. I want to hit the pin, in, the ball into the piece of dead wood. See, it's double wood, though, so I'm a fan of just yeah, cut, cutting the pin I, over. I know, I know. No, well, everybody's he's, different. He's going to no. a, a little too full. A little bit too full. Um, the people at Revel Smoke, they have like 75 flavors of the e-cig. It's kind of, kind of cool. That's awesome. Kinda, kinda cool. Kinda cool. Pretty cool. Hey, Sean Parker shooting a four pin here for a ten box. Let's <coughs> see what happens. Oh, wide right, left. After four, Sean Parker's at 56. Louis Maha at 54. And you know, I'm a man of my word. So if he's listening somewhere, I lost a bet to uh, Chuck Fry. So I have to mention Chuck Fry on uh, that. Um, you know, one night. I just didn't have no, 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 no. One second, please, David. Dennis, it's all right. please. Worlds comes to a stop when there's a spread uh, eagle. What, you know what is going on here? <laughs> the dread he, nails, he nails the head pin, people. That coming and from... Uh, how does that happen? How does this happen? Tell me. Full. Too full. Oh, wow. He just threw that thing away. Get me a roundtable discussion. I want to talk about this. Steve, How it's been season it three, and you're never going to get anybody to come down to explain to you why. Probably. Ooh, maybe, if you, maybe if you were on YouTube, Steve, and you actually read the comments, people do explain what happens on the Spread Eagle. I, um, well, I've read them all. I still don't believe them. I haven't been convinced what yet. What do you mean you read them all? I've read them. I read them. I told you that. I've told you and Dennis. I've read I read the YouTube card. I'm a faithful subscriber of it. Of the, the ball oh, show. Nice ball. Leaves the diamond. Oh, Set it and diamond. forget it and leaves the diamond. Or sometimes better known as the bucket. Dinner bucket. Yeah, we had some people uh, telling us, well, one person, not to trash 10-pin unless we tried it, which I have. I used to bowl 10-pin <laughs> in a league. So I'm speaking from experience. Come on, come on, come on, yeah! Wow. Just, uh, yeah. Diamond cut of the, the back way. Applauding the bowling gods. Wipes Completely it. missed the shot, wiping. and he gets the spear. He's wiping his brow yeah, on that one. Why? What? Because it's candle pin bowling. And then the we bowling had a, gods well, do bet. We had another, another person comment to oh. keep bragging on 10 pin because <laughs> his father or grandfather used to call it bowling with cannonballs. And it's not <laughs> real. Right. So I'm, I'm just a fan of bowling altogether. Well, you know, <clears throat> nice ball I Sean myself. Sean. And he's left the 5'10". And Candle Pinball and better known as the Woolworth split. 
The Woolworths Price, was yeah. closed back in the 90s, well, Steve. Well, no, no, there you go. Every time I say this, you come up, everybody knows it's closed, but this is what they call it. <sighs> you, you know what? I'll put you in charge of making up a new terminology for this one. That and the lily and the other no, Queen's maybe leave. things that you the come up leave. with. No, no, the Sean taking a good leave. look at it, making sure it's... Where are you going? going this is a tough one, too. Uh, I'm going right after the wood. Well, which wood? The, fir the front wood. Yeah, I'd probably try to cap that one on the right. Yeah. I'm going way right. No, he oh, he's playing the pin. Ooh, it slid by it. Well, you said he likes to make the tough shot, so... Yeah, well, he likes every shot. You know, it's there's there's not one shot that you know he does dislike. There you go. Yeah, That's the go. shot right there. There it was. And he left And he knew it. <laughs> yeah, never, yeah. It's always the third ball. Yeah. It's always the third ball. Absolutely correct. Why is it always the third ball? Because because pressure, no, Dennis? Pressure, no pressure. Or no pressure. No pressure. Okay. Yeah. Sean Parker is at what down, Dennis? 66. Box to box, he's up seven pins right and now. And he's opposite of spare. And yeah. Louis getting four for the handicap. That's already included. Oh, and he's Ooh, left the just seven pin. pin by itself. And again, we didn't get enough emails uh, for the viewers challenge. We need at least four per yeah. taping, so we do it once once a week. Keep that in mind, people, for the next the next. So session. please get them in as quickly as you can. If please don't forget about it. We oh, like look at that! Nice and the crosshairs are knocked it down. We'd right. like to give out some prizes to our wonderful viewers. Yep, Steve's in charge of um, working on a way to get a crown or a belt or some kind of championship. I'll take care of it. After six, and Sean Parker's at 76 working on a spear. Louis Maha at 69 working on a spear. And the Burger King crown does not count. Okay. <laughs> oh, there goes oh, his idea. Now look at this. <laughs> He's throw, he threw it look wide that right. Kind of and, and there goes the one. Eight, the eight falls. You would think the head pin would go before right. that one. Yeah, the eight pin was like rocking. <laughs> He's left the one and the nine for a spear. I'm drilling that no, head we'll pin see to the right side. See where see this wood settles in. So why didn't the pin fall down? It, we got the, the eight pin didn't wiggle as much, and that went down, but this one wiggles, and it doesn't go down. Why? It's well, physics. Every pin's got an axis or something. Physics. Physics. <laughs> physics or whatever. Oh, look oh, at this. Oh. Bungee ball. Almost pulled it off. It would have been a legal shot. Yeah, yeah, as long as it hits a playable piece of wood on the way down, it can yeah. bounce back and take it something out, and it is still or legal. Or a pin, right? Want to say Anything. hi? Yeah. Yeah. Want to say hi to my buddy that uh, bowls with me on Friday night, Rockhound. Nice Wait to see you making off for the trip. What, what's this guy's name? Rockhound. Rockhound. Rock That's his name, Rockhound. Oh, well, well, Rich Coachy. Rich Rockhound. Rock okay. We had a few people from the Friday Night Pro League down here today. We had Keith yeah. Bopri, Justin, Justin Scally, Michael Kane, Rich Kochi, obviously. Yeah, who else? Myself, you. Yeah, yeah. well, I really didn't pull Are oh, you a pacer? Oh, my God. Now he's left. Oh, this is, hey, you know what? Well, I think we could get some wood out of the way there, guys. Uh, no good, no? No good. No good, yeah, oh. yeah. We're going to take a second here. Steve, would you consider this a spare leave? Anything, um... <clears throat> Oh, that's a tough question. Probably technically, but not technically. Real, yeah, but not real. It's a very good answer. Dennis can actually attest to that. I picked that up a couple weeks ago. Oh, yes. real? Yes. The wood out wood? Pick, picked it up clean. What'd you do? Tilt the nine into the eight or the eight into the nine? Scooted the nine over to the eight. Well, excellent shot. There was a piece of wood, but it wasn't a factor. Yeah. You know the odds of him making that? Probably um, a thousand to one. Yeah, oh, I should have played the lottery that night. More than that, Dennis. You, you, you'll, you'll need more than a thousand shots of parallel pins for you, in my opinion. It was a, I have no proven. It was, no it was a nice thing. cut. It only happens every once in a great while. Yeah, yeah. you have to barely oh. touch that other pin. Oh, Sean sure up on the mark, and he's left the one. Ooh. Wow, yeah, what a massive. disaster Look at this is. I know it. The one, one six, six, nine, and seven with the whole bunch of uh, junk. you got to go to the right of the head pin. The That's six. all you got to do. And he's attempting a spare, one of the 1,024 spots. Oh, I go to the right of the There we go. He, no, no. Wow, threw that one away. He knew it. Shaking his head. Yeah, All it's that. amazing how uh, you know the second it leaves your hand. It hasn't even gone down the lane yet, and you know it's off. You know, yep. another observation. Watching the worlds come back, watching approaches. Now, in Canada Pin Bowling, as long as you throw a legal ball, it's legal. It doesn't matter if you take one step, two steps, three steps. That's right. But don't you think after watching those people up in, in the worlds and all that bowling, you would 
maybe want to alter your delivery a little bit to save a little momentum or strength? No. We or do you don't think it matters? It, it's it, it's your. It, it goes by the individual bowler because bowler. if you're used to bowling a certain way, yeah. Yeah. it's embedded in you. Yeah. If once like you start changing it, then. Well, I just thought after 20 strings, David, maybe you get a little tired and you take one less step. Well, I have a, like me personally, I have a three-step approach. Yeah. Some people have a five, five or yeah. four. You, you yeah. never know, but it, that's what you're used to bowling. If you start altering that, uh, look especially in a, in a big match like the Worlds, mm -hmm. then you're going to screw yourself up mentally. Wow. Look at this. Three, so good. seven, eight, and ten with a whole bunch of wood. With a wood. pocket hitting the on the one-two pocket, and this is what he leaves. Grandma's nice oh, shot. Nice, nice pick up. shot. Nice shot. Nice Puts clean up on alley four. On. Louis Maha going into the ninth box. And after eight, Sean Parker's at 100 working on a spare, and Louis Maher is at 95. Altering your approach, uh, I mean your delivery. Oh, I threw that one away. Same thing. Same if, you shot, if you shot and you deliver, you're yeah. going to get save energy, but like you like said. during the Worlds, I, I was using oh, one set of balls, and yeah. they weren't working as well, so I switched to a lighter set, and it worked as well. But it, it just wasn't changing my approach or anything. It was yeah. just changing the ball weight. Yeah. I know, I got to go. Oh, right through the hoop. Want wow. Didn't want that. He wants a big out out of this. Yeah, he's got to come out of this with a 9 or a 10. Kind of muscled up on I that I mean, one. I did so much absorbing. I, I got there at 8.30. I left, I don't know, sometime after 5. Watched as most of the action I could. And aggravated Ooh. everybody along the way. No. Tough I three box. Didn't uh, four box. It's a four box. Four box? Yeah. All I could say, Dennis, once again, thank you for... When, it was unbelievable. Yeah, and I it told was, everyone. Yeah. I, I told everyone to come down and just walk in the place it. at 8:30 in the morning. 500 people. Wow. Four, three, four well, Louis people overcompensating there. a little yeah. bit. Yeah, Louis. Louis. Uh, you got to figure there was here. 24 teams. Yeah. Average about eight or nine guys a team right That's here. Right. Plus you have their friends, family, people just well, watching. Well, the other oh. thing too, Dennis, is the captains of these, those teams could pull. Oh, look at this! Oh, shot. what a comeback! You talk about a comeback. Uh, you talk about, oh no, he should nice go way up, to come back he should go up there, ball. Yeah, he needs a full ball. He came back, he threw a poor four box, it was on him, he knew it. That's what you got to do, reset yeah. and forget, you got to come back. That. You've said it time and time and time again, Dennis, you're absolutely correct, and it was proven he wants there an it eight, is. nine, or ten. Oh, Ooh. only a six on a pocket. Well, okay, nothing wrong with a 115 and can't open bowl. Just nothing like wrong at I, all. I did the roll off this month and I missed a single pin for a spear I came back with a double strike that's what you're gonna do you just gotta forget it and just come back with it yeah and now we'll never hear we don't have to ever hear a 422 ever yeah, again. again yeah I made the show I'm the number one seed <laughs> but we can but we can hear 1024 no oh god we're all done with that so am I gonna interview myself in that match or uh, no I no no I'll take care I'll hook you up don't well, worry I, I can do it I can multitask. Well, multitask. No, 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 David. David, it has to be made. The decision will have to be made by Travis Falk, the one and only, the outstanding executive producer, director, the OEPD. Well, you he'll know. Make, he'll make the decision. <laughs> well, and to he's be smiling. honest with you. He's smiling down there. Sean he's throws a, a six on his fifth. <laughs> there's only one. There's only one, Travis. It's OEPD. Oh, the OEPD. No. Oh. Going after a tough spare leave here. Yeah, this he leaves is a three, difficult. five, nine, and ten with a piece of wood this in front is, of the ten. This is ugly. Oh, what oh, a shot! What a shot! Beautiful. Oh my nice. goodness! Drilled it head on and wiped it out. What a shot! Now he can really put some distance in here. He's opposite the four box. He's already up a pin for the string, and he's still got to fill this and have another box. Yep. So he's going to have a good sizable lead coming into the second string against Louis Maha. A uh, little bit of, a little bit more of concentration here, guys. Working on his fill. Oh, he wants the big fill. Ten oh, quarter head. shot. Oh, look at this. Wow, the that five pin. The, the, the five pin. They both rock. They both more rocking. No, they both the five rock. pin was almost over, and the, the, the one pin came up and hit it and stood it back up, and the ten pin just. Whatever. How did those two pins stay? No, that's what's different, and that's what's <sighs> different from candle pin bowling to ten pin bowling. There's always been a 300 somewhere along the lines in and in, uh, ten pin bowling. Oh, it's never happened. In Uncountable candle. amount of 300. Yeah. Oh. It'll never happen in candle pin bowling. Nice oh, oh no! Look wow. at this. He's looking back at <laughs> it, wondering why that ten did not go down. The Woolworth split people just beat the bowler. The highest ever thrown in uh, candle pin is 245, and it was actually done twice. Once in the 80s, I believe it was, and then again uh, about five years ago by 
with my um I thought it was a 257. Jeff. No, no, it's no, 245. Jeff Atkins? It was uh, Chris, Chris Sargent. Chris Sargent, Sargent. Yeah, down at Metro. Uh, Ten bucks. I know. You're shaking your head, Sean. I agree. After one, one Sean no. Parker's at 134. Louis Maha at 115. Sean's got a 20, uh, excuse me, 19 pin lead going into the second string. And he got robbed on that last spare. How did that 10 pin ever spare? stay up? It's candle pin bowling. Yeah, that is no other explanation. And Don't. while we uh, didn't have enough emails for the viewers challenge we are doing the question of the week last week we had our first inductee into the uh, grand prize drawing at the end of the season who is super aka ian i'm not gonna even try his screen name so <laughs> super <laughs> saskamaniac whatever it is <laughs> but uh, ian is actually one of our long time and uh, commenters and comments all the time frequently okay sean parker the lead off string number Two, box number one, lane number three, opens up, drop six, leaves the four horsemen right with some wood between the... One, three, six, <coughs> and ten with a piece of wood, wood just resting up against the six. Where are you going with this one, Dennis? Split it. I'm always a fan of splitting yeah. them. Yeah. Run the ladder. See what happens. The four horsemen. <coughs> Wait, no, drill that. You're right. Head you on. Head on. Leaves the six and the ten. Nice piece of bond wood there. Nice 10, nice 10 bucks. Okay, so we're gonna go for the uh, question of the week now. This comes from uh, Bob Trainer, AKA Morgil Ravenswing from Greenfield, Mass. Who's the toughest bull you've ever faced head to head? Dave? Toughest bowler I've ever had to face head to head. That's a tough one. Um, Oh, what do we got here quickly? He leaves the Caleri. The Caleri. Personally, um, I think bowling in the, in the, in the, on the Friday Night Pro, Men's Pro League, I would have to say the toughest person I ever had to bowl next to would be Jonathan Boudreau. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> not gonna, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You know, that kid is lights out. He is, <clears throat> you know, he is a... He's like, for a young kid, man, he is throws a great ball, and he is like on. There's no one, not one shot that he cannot make. Yeah, he's, he's a great bowl. He's, he's been down here a few times to do the King yep. of the Palace. Yep. Made the show once. As uh, Sean gets an eight for 18 after two. Can I be asked that same yes, question? Yes, next. Uh, it's uh, all three of us. Undoubtedly around here, David and Dennis, you probably don't know. Unfortunately, the good Lord took him. There was an older gentleman named Gordon Crawford. Oh and, yeah, yeah, and without a doubt, yeah, his grandson, his grandson, Peter, uh, yeah, yeah. he, he uh, Peter Peter Crawford Jr. bowls. This, he was just an incredible, incredible can open bowl. I think he ever, I think the lowest average he ever had in the league when I was with him is 123 or 122. Yeah, he was yeah. a great bowler. Yeah, perfect, yeah. The, probably the most perfect form of any can open bowler I've ever seen. Oh, a little off on that one. Uh, yeah. as, far as, Dennis? as far as me, it's tough to pinpoint one because where I bowl in the Friday Night Pro League, there was just so many phenomenal bowlers. I bowled head-to-head -head against Jeff Surrett when we had the head-to-head -head league, uh, Chris Sargent on TV, Bobby Bancourt on TV, Dave Barber on TV, as Louis gets a 10 bucks. Craig Holbrook. Craig, Craig Hol Holbrook. Craig Bobby Whitcomb. John Zappi. <laughs> There's just too many to, to name. Um, I mean, it, it's just impossible. No, Peter Flynn, too, right? Peter I've never Peter. faced Peter no, Flynn no, head-to-head. Head. No, Mike no. Morgan. Jeff Charette, Mike Morgan. Mike Morgan is my idol. I, I can't praise Mike Morgan enough. He is, he, is one of the, he is by far one of the greatest guys. Personally and professionally for bowling. He's just... You know, he's funny. Oh, yeah. You know, he roots you on. He's entertaining. You'd be kicking his butt by 50 pins, and he'll still be rooting for you. Yep. He's just that type of guy, you know? Oh, look at this disaster. Oh. Leaves sure. the half whistle yes. left, and then he picks up this. And he leaves seven the, ten. Leaves the railroad split. So thank you for your question, and you, yeah. you are now entered into the drawing. Uh, at the keep end them of the coming, season. people. Keep them coming. Yep. And um, once again, we do uh, appreciate all the viewers on YouTube. Nice, oh, 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 nice ten. Nice ten. Well, we appreciate all the viewers on YouTube. Uh, all the viewers on 15 local access. 
channels in cities and towns. 214 subscribers. 214 like subscribers, that. over uh, 300,000 views from season one to two. A absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's the king of the palace. We're growing, we're getting bigger yep. and badder and moving on. And Nice head pin hit. Oh, nice ball. I'm sorry, it's 204 subscribers. Leaves the three pin with a piece of wood. We started off small, you know, small market, nothing spectacular, but, you know, we kept plugging away and plugging away and plugging away in season three. Um, it's because of you, the bowlers, our, our sponsors, um, that we had to, um, nice pickup for the spare. I know, he's shaking his head. Excuse me, uh, David. <laughs> hey, as long as it goes, yeah. <laughs> that's all yeah, that is. He's saying he, no he has no business making that spear. Always he completely, paper. completely missed the shot, hit the cap of the wood, and the cap of the wood appeared to direct the ball into the pin. Listen, my, my theory is the alley's taken enough away from you. You that's deserve right. to get yeah, a few yeah, back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, special thanks to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru mm -hmm. and Rebel Smoke in Fitchburg and Lemonster. It's because of them the bowlers, and you, the viewers, that we are able to do what we do. Now, here's a case, people out there in bowling land. Beautiful pocket hit, fills the spear with seven, but what does he leave? Four, seven, and the ten with a whole bunch now, of you junk. Think, do you would think the seven pin would fall this down This is just going to be ugly. This, this well, which would you hit in, David? Dennis Quick. Uh, Front one or the back one? Back one. Back one, right. I agree. Far right. No, far right. Come on, come on. Nah, you think. Nah, you... Far right. I would hit that wood, dead wood far right to try to kick it off the wall. The <laughs> front wood, the front wood or the back wood? The well, front wood. Couldn't hit the back wood far right because it's blocked by the other pin. Yeah. Yeah, but then, okay. Picks up the nice. 10. After four. He's at 45. Well, Louis Mahler, Mahler's got to come on here. He's box to box, Sean Parker is up 13. Well, Louis, here it is. Louis chops six off of his league. After two boxes. Now he's facing what, a spare seven, Dennis? He's up against a spare seven, yeah. yes. Yeah. Get the mic for us, see what happened. Leaves another diamond. Another diamond. Well, he picked this up yep. earlier. Earlier, yep. Yeah, it's this time he has no wooden in the middle to help him out, though. No. Very, very, very no, difficult you're gonna have shot. No, you're going to have to be almost like a head and quarter shot right here. Yeah, you're going to play this one clean. Very difficult spare shot. Just missed it. Just missed. Well, it's going to be. Leaves easy two. The 2-5, yeah. Ooh, and fire. leaves a 2-5. <laughs> and again, for those of you who haven't seen it, please go to um, our YouTube channel. And we did videotape the last match of the Worlds between Lucky Strike Lanes in Lynn, Massachusetts versus A-plus Accounting from Nova Scotia, Canada. It's in three segments, one hour each, and it was just a phenomenal time being there. Oh, look oh, at this disaster. Oh, excuse me, Dropped Dennis. the head and quarter shot. Look, look, look at this the mess. Five that's right. He's got favorable right ten. now. Yep. Well, yes, but that's the one good break out of this. But why didn't it fall down? Nothing touched it. You know how it goes. But uh, it was just an honor and a privilege to be able to do, uh, do commentary for that match. Uh, nice pick up. Shot. Use the wood. Angle the deflection, as you've always said, Dennis. There was a classic example of it on the replay. That probably would have gone in 10 pin. Oh, I'm oh, supposed yeah. to make fun of 10 pin. <laughs> Oops. After four, Sean Parker's at 45. Louis Mahar at 42, oh, just working th on a spare. Just thank God for the rock. I did do 10 pin once, and I tell this story religiously. You hurt your arm bowling. I've always been an, uh, a student of candle pin bowling. I've always done candle pin bowling. Um, I went out Midwest to college and decided to try 10-pin bowling. Look at nice this, 9-pin drop. Leaves the 3-pin. Um, you know, the atmosphere was awesome. Picked up the ball, went to go, you know, took a practice slide, went to go throw the ball for the very first ball and dislocated my thumb. Oh, God. Oh. Never, never bowled 10-pin ever again. Can't nice. say that I blame you. Well, I, I can't. First pitch. What a wuss. Unfortunately, <laughs> I had to have my thumb reattached in 2004. And uh, I can't All bowl. All of this. Is it going to steal it? No. I can't bowl 10 pin anymore because trying to uh, bowl with my thumb in the ball. Yep. It would just, I'm afraid it will pull. I have a hook and a screw in there. I'm afraid that it will do some damage, so I won't even attempt doing it anymore. Yeah. Does he get to 10 bucks? Shake his head. He knows he, uh, he should have had that spare. Yeah. Oh, that's when you just got to reset, forget, come back, throw a hammer. People out there in Bowling Land, I know I speak for you know, truly myself. <laughs>
quite surely for Dennis and David. Well, we'll Most see. frustrating thing <laughs> is yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll Most see. <laughs> We'll see, but don't most, words in our mouths. most frustrating thing in Canada Pin Bowling, right, missing guys. Missing a nine-pin drop. Mi missing a one-pin spare, right. You really want it, and you miss it. Especially when there's wood. Oh, he found there the head pin this time. That's back. Leaves the 4-7. Yep. Then let him uh, ball the Put some... Ooh, piece I don't of wood like angled it. in yeah, front. Yeah, I'd sweep it. Two yeah. in the back, yeah. yeah. I, if he red lines this or blow it, it should just... The only thing that yeah. may stop it is that one piece of wood in the back. If he's off, that one piece of wood that's angled... Before you know, the four and the looking seven, closely at this this leave, <coughs> yeah, I, I think it. I wouldn't try to go around it because you might wind up hitting the cap on it. There you yeah, go. Yeah, Just no, like there that. it goes. Yeah, he, he shaking his head a little. <coughs> it should have went down a little bit easier, Sean. I agree, but it went down. Also, it's a spare. It's a spare in the six box. That's all that counts. I also wanted to um, make mention and stay tuned because the second annual Twin City Challenge will be coming up, which is a ten string event between uh, New Palace Lanes and Mason's Bowling Recreation Center in Lumster, Mass. Last year we had a huge turnout, it was a lot of fun. Four. Um, and this year we're gonna be second annual, we're um, working out the details and the prize money and the entry fees and- Awesome, it's gonna be yeah, a lot of you fun. had a good turnout last year? Had a huge turnout last year. Nice. People from all over. A little too full on that one. And it's non handicapped it's straight up. Nice. Unfortunately, with my work schedule, I w won't be able to make that, but I encourage everyone else to do it. You don't know that. You don't even know when the dates are yet. I work six six or seven days a week, dude. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. <laughs> uh, Louie Lou disappointing. Nice boy. He's going to come on now here. Yeah. Especially this time of the year. Christmas time, post office is just slammed. Well, that's why it's like later on in the year. Oh, nice oh, ball. Oh, nice he's been back. waiting for that pitch. Oh, what a hammer. Appeared to be the one Ka three part. Boom. Ben, he Nothing just left on the deck. That. that is what we call a hammer. After no doubt. That was just the spear. kaboom. After okay. six, Sean Parker's at 65 working on a spear, and Louis Maher's at 65 working on a strike. Well, this is what we wanted people in viewing land. This is what we strive for. This is what well, we Sean's like. Sean's got a 19-pin lead. Start, yeah, he still has the 19-pin lead from the first round. It's going to get strike. closer. This is going to really get interesting. Well, it all depends on what Sean does here. Yeah. The strike really helped. Louis. Oh, found the hit. Oh, nice ball. Oh, yeah. 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 Boom. Boom. The Talk five pin, pin, the last one to drop. Talk about an answer to a strike. Oh. Strike on spear. Got the five it. pin goes down last. It's a strike. We've had three boxes. Box in a row by the bowlers. Two, two of them with strikes. Excellent candle pin bowling. No doubt about it. I noticed Dennis David. Sean taking a little extra time now. John's always taking time when he's yeah, bowling. Yeah, a little, yeah, a little he's more. Not, he's one that does not rush. Yeah. I've seen him. I bowled with him. Yeah. Um, well, for there's, years. there's no rule in candle for ball. How long it takes? No, ten pin there is. Uh, ten pin you have do have yeah. a time limit. Yeah, oh, that's, I didn't know that. Yes. Pin. Well, that's ten pin. Who cares? No, I'm just yeah. clarifying. Yeah, I'm not, no, I didn't mean it derogatorily. I'm just saying that. Ten pin. I, I got really? no. I got Who cares? no use. I got no use for it. All right. <laughs> Anybody can throw a 14 pound ball down the alley. I actually use a 16 pound when I bowled. Oh, yeah. See. Now, where's he going here, guys? <laughs> tough, tough boy. Yeah, probably. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, there it is, people. Wow. How many do times do I have to? Luck? How many times do I have to emphasize? And why does that happen? How does that happen? Because why? he missed. It, well, yeah, but it's candle pin bowling. It's candle pin bowling. That's right. The audience even knows. got a piece of wood the ball hits a piece of wood they both go different directions and either one hits either the seven or the ten okay Dennis I'm sorry what do we got buddy no, I'm just looking over <laughs> Louis got some work to do here he's yeah. down 19 well he needs a, he's, a, he's up against the strike uh, gate fill he's on a, a strike. if he throws a double here this may oh, help him yeah. out a lot he, he, but I, what no. I always say on Friday nights double changes everything right yeah found the oh, hit there it is come on he is. did it Ka there's a double boom that was a nice pitch he needed it. He got it. What did he need? What did he want? He wanted the double, and he got it, Dave. He showed us the twins. <laughs> okay, now he wants it. Oh, I'd love to see a triple. Been a while since we've had a triple, people, in the ball yep. land. Three strikes in a row. Oh. On the head pit. Oh, oh look at come Wait a on. Wow, leaves the eight, seven, Fall no wood. Fall down for the ball, Adonis. That was a beautiful pitch. Who was the last one to hit that? It was... Uh, it's been a long Jimmy, time. Jimmy Nesta? Jimmy Nesta, yeah. Jimmy Nesta got triple, yeah.
Yeah, Jimmy, we miss you. Come on back down. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen him. Yeah, no, it's been maybe like he's forever. busy. Yeah. Well, got to get one out of two. Oh, he was trying to slice that yeah. pin. Okay, well, now you can get one out of the two. Then Dennis will give us a recap, a, re a recapitulation. <laughs> Notice that big word, De Dennis? David? That was a $5 word right there. Yeah. No, maybe, <laughs> maybe a $10 word. Okay, what do we got? Probably a 108 word, and words with friends if you actually put it in the right spots. After eight, Sean Parker's at 101. Louis Maha is at 110. Sean Parker is still holding on to a 10-pin lead. That's wow. all boxes completed. All boxes completed. Eight first string, everything. Yep. Okay, here it is, people. Sean could actually put this away. He's up 10. He gets one mark, yeah, forces easily. Louis to get a double. No one's, neither happens. one is on a mark, so see sure. what happens. Oh, wide left. He's left the one, the eight, the six, and, and the, the ten. ten. Some wood there. Piece Good help. Rolling up against the one just about. Well, uh, he's got to make contact with the head pin either side. Which way are you going? Right. I'm going to the right side, right? Yeah, I would yeah. try the right. Yeah. Put the ball into the six and the ten. But not too far right. Yeah, because that pin might deflect the ball. Oh, Look at this. He oh. did, and did not take out the eight pin. Ooh, that one pin was oh, coming up against, yeah. the, uh, against the eight. Looks like it was going to hit it and hit the emergency brake and Went stopped up it and dead around in its tracks. It. Well, that's, this is still a very important pin here to get the ten box. Just hit that wood very lightly. Oh, no, you went out. Wow. Oh, well block. Well, he's, he's actually leaving the door open for Louie a little bit. Yeah. A couple of marks would actually change this thing around That's for Louis. Right. Well, if he doesn't get a mark here, Dennis, it looks like Louis would be able to win with two marks and two good, two good fills. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, we'll it's, leave it's the, the math to the after Mr. the Mr. Parker ain't done bowling yet. Oh, no. Never count anybody out. Well, we got a little break here, Dennis. Once again, repeating for the people. Your advice is not to change anything. Your approach. Not, not during a match. Not um, during a match. You go out just to have fun or, you well, know, Well, the reason I brought that up is, excuse me, is in previous step, uh, previous taping, we had shoe change. No, he, 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 he changed from one taping to the next, next not, not, yeah. from, not during a match. Yeah. From the last time he was on the previous year, he changed his Oh, oh look at that. Come on. Louis just hung his head. Yeah, that, just, that may be a little bit more than Louis can take. take. What I was uh, saying is never change it during a match. Yeah, if no. you just go out to practice, then yes. Because you work, work as we remember, our, our OEPD, the outstanding producer director, Travis Falk, brought up how he changed. Mm -hmm. Remember how he, yep. you, you pointed yeah, it he out? Yeah, the side-by-side side comparison. Right, yep. he, he dropped his show. That was from who, season to season. season yeah. yeah, that was season to season. Oh. I'm talking about as a match is going on, you okay. never want to change like that. Big ball again. You may oh. change your position to the left or to your right, right. but you never change, change the way you approach or throw. Right. Like I said, you, you can, can slow your steps down, throw your arms down. Helpful, very helpful for the future bowlers. All the yep. bowlers that are bowling now. Yeah, if, if you yep. want to change it, go and practice you know, on your own and try it doing nothing, never during a oh, match. Yep. Just but if you find yourself, you know, if you are during a match or even during practice, if you find yourself off a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left, a small minor adjustment, maybe a half a step over. Yeah, move a board one way or the other. Yep. A couple boards, never know. Well, But keep your arm slot the same. Exactly. Sean, uh, to fill that strike with a nine for a 129 string, two string total of 263. He's got 19, 18, 38, right? He's 39 pins in two boxes. That's what he needs. Let's see what happens. Let's get, oh. This ain't gonna work for that one. He dropped that one. Down. Well, he's still mathematically in it, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, he's so disappointed. Oh. Yeah, it, it happens. Yeah, David, you never know. Yeah, you, you never, never know. know. Throw the strike ball here, get the spare. No, I've always said that. You got to throw the strike ball to get the spare. I know. Uh, yeah, he dropped his head there. He's very He's disappointed. picked it up before. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Eight, eight, oh. Back. Ladies and gentlemen, Took ball a breath. Man. Are you kidding me? Took a he deep breath. He did that breath. the last time. That's right. Through a, through a great observation, David. Unbelievable pressure shot. Oh, now it's all on. Louis Maha, let's see what happens. Oh, 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 look at this. this. It's going to come down to this. Box to box, it's even. And he's opposite. Yeah, we're going to have to clear out the piece of. Uh, oh, no, is it's rolling back? back. Oh, it's. Will it, is, is it, it going to hit? Turn? It? Is it going to turn? No. Nope. No. Nope. Yeah, turn the wrong wow, way. Wow, that one pin's got to look like a toothpick to him right about now. Well, people, this is what it's all about. You want to be the king of the palace? You got to make your shots. Take a few, he needs this. <laughs> take a few extra seconds. Oh, that's it. Play the wood. 
We do good. Sean He's Parker good. advances. Yeah, Sean Parker point. beat Louis Ma. Yeah. Well, if he got that, he would have Dennis, I think he just ran into the jet dryer on that one. <laughs> would have needed a strike to win he, or he, nine No, he would have needed, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He needed a spare strike to win and spare nine to tie. Uh, winner is Sean Parker with what, uh, Dennis? At the end of the string, Sean Parker with a 129, Louis Maha with a 138. Uh, excellent, excellent candle pin bowling, Two string guys. totals, Sean Parker at 263, and Louis Maha at 253. Congratulations to both bowlers, Louis and Sean. Sean moves on, and now it is time for the 11th box with Dennis Nuzzo. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzle here with today's winner, Sean Parker. Sean, that was a great match. Yes, it was. Great competitor. He didn't quit till the end. That's what I like. Yeah, he threw a nice clutch strike in the end to kind of top things off. How'd you feel when you threw that? Um, I don't know. I just felt good at first, and I just take every box, like one ball, one box at a time. Yeah, you don't like to know where you're standing, what the handicap is, so... No, I do not. I just, I just focus on the pins. That's, that's the main thing, just the pins. There you go. Well, congratulations, and your opponent next week will be the number two seed with a 415 roll-off score, Billy Bloom. What do you think of uh, going against Billy? I don't know. I never met him before until uh, next week. We'll see what happens. All right, well, good luck. See you then. Thank you.